Hey there, and welcome to another installment of Tom's World. Today, as you can tell by the title of this video, we are back in Benjamin Rush State Park. We're in search once again for the ruins of the old water treatment plant that used to be here in the woods. Now, last time we didn't find them because I was searching in the complete wrong area. I think I know where they are now, so let's get in there and find these ruins. Now, the last time I was here, <clears throat> I took this trail, and if you watched it, you might remember that takes me down to the Pequesson Creek. And we already know that there's not much for me to find back there. And we know from the video I did even further back from then that there are some kind of ruins back there. But it's like holes in the ground and some concrete and some cinder blocks, stuff like that. Not really much to see. And right now it's kind of hard to get to because it's really, really overgrown. So we're not going to go down there this time. But I had to pass by here to get to where I want to go. So let's keep going. Okay, so this is where I want to be. And it's a, it's a little bit of a thinner trail here, um, but you know, no worries. I remembered my deep woods off this time. I think this place might be more prone to be on our right side over here, more so than on the left. And I see some, uh, some concrete here. Not what we're looking for, but obviously man-made, so we might be on the right trail, finally. Little overgrown, some low-hanging vines and stuff, and spider webs that I go head first into, and now the trail separates. If you want to call it a trail, I mean, it's pretty high. Um, more so down that way. But uh, let's see what's over here. And this, this would be a perfect place for deers to just chill out, lay down. Now this overgrown brush is about knee height. But thank God I have my deep woods off on me. Now that's very high in there. It does look like over, t I don't know if you could see it, but it does look like the grass goes down over there, weeds, whatever you want to call this. But I don't know if I want to traverse through that to get to that little trail. There might be something else a little further up if I go back and go to where the trail separated. We're coming up to a mowed area, but there's a, a lot of industrial back here. We've got a path that just stops. Let's uh, go up on top of this part of the hill, see what we see. Mm, groundhog hole. And they always have two. Like they have their own entrance and exits. Maybe that's what I heard going around in the in the brush over there. And it just sounded bigger because of the branches. Yeah, I still don't see anything through the trees, I don't think. No, nope, just more greenery on the other side. So go back out to where it's mowed here and maybe there'll be another trail in. I did find a trail yesterday when I was here uh, working and I was just kind of driving around to pick up trash and stuff towards the end and there was a trail off of one of the main trails and I took it back and it was just a dead end. Hmm. So far, no trail in. I may have to make my own. I think that's going to wind up being the case. Well, this way seems a little clear. I should probably keep a lookout for a good stick. Of 
question is, is am I going to remember how to get out of here once I start traversing inside? I mean, it's not that big. So I can't get that lost. And I'm already sweating profusely. And something was just running around in the branches above me. I couldn't look up to see what. And another spider web. Oh look, the shell of a locust. I think that's what that is. It's like shed its skin right there. Seems to be more open this way. Had a bead of sweat going down my scalp. I thought it was something crawling on me. If you could see me now, you'd be laughing. I'm bent over so much. I'm like, I look like Quasimodo. <laughs> Let's go in here a little bit because there's a little break here. Let's see. No. Wow. That's a that's a steep little hill. Also watching the ground. So you never know what's gonna be around here. I mean, we do have snakes and stuff around. So, I mean, I don't think there's too many poisonous ones, but still, snake bite is a snake bite. A little out of breath being in here, ducking down in the heat. I mean, I'm not the most in-shape person in the world. <sighs> All right. Still nothing that I can really go across. All right. I found no spider, so we're all good. Now we're caught in a vine. It's sticking to me. Got a clearing up here. Man, I tell you, these things are really hard to find when you don't know where they are. And yes, Chris Mallon, I know. I should have called you. Matter of fact, I might. I might actually just call you and tell you to get your butt here. I'm going to do that right now, actually. All right, so I have called my buddy Chris so that he can come out here and help me find uh, where this is because he says he knows where it is. Now my only problem is getting back. <laughs> I, um, I don't remember how, what route I took or anything like that. So, because I had to walk out a little ways to get a signal. I mean, I like I said, I could see the main trails from here. I just have no way to get to them other than the way that I came in here. So, when I come back, I will, for the, for the first time in one of my videos, have a, uh, a little co-explorer with me. One that actually knows how, where these things are. And uh, hopefully he knows the ones I'm talking about, the ones that are still standing, not the one that I found in my first video that I did here. Anyway... I'm just kind of babbling as I backtrack a little and uh, I will be back momentarily and you all can get to meet Chris Mallon. Well, I made it out. <laughs> I'm back on the road and now I just got to go back to my car and wait for this guy to get here. All right, we're back. Chris finally got here like 10 minutes late. <laughs> always, always a little behind, guys. Oh, well, it's funny. You should say a little behind because there's his butt. <laughs> so we're looking for where he thinks it might be. He had mentioned that this place changed a lot since he was back here. As, as a younger guy. When he didn't have gray hair. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'll do the smart thing and go around it. <laughs> A lot of down trees. Yep. Yep. This is about where the path would have been that I was talking about. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, it's bending down today. Good thing is with him in front of me, I don't uh, I don't need a stick to get rid of the cobwebs. And I got you a walking stick I made you. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, at one point I was collecting them and making them and then I, I just stopped. I about you the one day and I had to, a nice stick that I got out from work and I was like, you know what, let me cut this up and turn it into a walking stick for Tom so you can get rid of the spider webs. Yeah. I, I mean, sometimes I'll just find a stick as I'm walking and there's the fence, I do believe. I do believe we made it. Uh oh. And and spoiler alert, where I was the first time is where we are now. Like in the last video I made here. Right. Some high grass here. No matter what, we're gonna want run into this fence. It won't <laughs> at some it won't point. Let us go any further. <laughs> yeah, going the other way, there was like industrial and stuff back there. I was like, nah. And I know there's a path that if you take it far far enough in here, it'll take you back to the uh, Pequestion Creek Trail where the abandoned prison farm is. Now, I see oil all over these things. Whatever this is. Hopefully. Well, I mean, I got jeans on, but... spider for you. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I was commenting earlier that a lot of the spiders I see, they look different this year. Like they have leaves on their back or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're gonna have to do some serious tick checking when you leave here. Ah, I'm a... Got a path. Got it. Well, yeah, now see, this is where I was gonna bring you if we just walked down the main path. This is yeah. On the left. But there was when I went back there, all I saw was like a square hole in the ground. I've learned that flies don't care about deep woods off. No, because they keep no. slamming into my head. They don't care. The mosquitoes don't eat. Inchworm. It's kind of blurry on the camera, but it's like right there. <laughs> oh, so that's the, now. that's the creek. Now, yeah. over this way, there's like a, a little there ditch. It is. I see it in the corner. There's like a little. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we just hit one at the same time. Say, if you want to behind me, yeah, that's probably better. They don't, they don't scare me none. Ah, they don't scare me. I just don't want to get bit. I, I already got one spider bite this year, and Ooh. it was on my on my back, and it was like a big mosquito bite that hurt, but it itched. See, there's a pile of uh, concrete on the left there. Yeah, there should have been like <laughs> The branches like to take your glasses. Happened to me earlier. Now, this part used to be all swamp. And you had bricks right here, yeah. That's them now. The old building used to be. This should be the building right here. Should have been a telephone pole laying across it too at one time. Possible it may have rotted out. Yeah. I mean, it's a shame there's not like a beach on the uh, creek that you can yeah, walk right. along. What the hell do they do back there? They all discombobulated. <laughs> <laughs> So better late than ever. Anyway, this is uh, this is Chris. Chris, this is this is Tom's world. Hi guys. There should be like a fire hydrant too, right right, right next to it. I can feel the sweat pouring down my face. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like thick in here. I feel like I'm in Florida. <laughs> Uh, 
I can't remember exactly the path I took to get to where I, what I saw the first time, but it was off this way somewhere in this direction. Yeah. But I want to get back oh. on that path to see if we can. Shark Island or Shark Fin. When we were kids, that one triangle. Oh, the little one? We used to call it a shark fin when we were kids. Up that way a little more. We're gonna well, have to. can we go we'll be able to go along the creek? Yeah, we might be able to get across these and then to the other side and then back over. Yeah. All right, thorns. All right, I got you. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. I'll pass it. <laughs> we almost fell, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it was kind of a fall. The uh, log gave out on me. <laughs> almost another fall. All right. Whew. Yeah, you're gonna get like 10 billion likes when you when that day that you fall. I know it's gonna go viral. Like, look at this idiot. Hmm. Do you remember the fence I was telling you about? Yeah. yeah that's the fence. It's a chain link fence. If you don't mind a little bit of water, these are waterproof I don't care, these are my beat up <laughs> oh. All right. so we have a fence in Chris's butt a fence. piece of concrete oh. Oh, watch it's slimy back here alrighty oh yeah just a bit well I'm <laughs> suctioning to the ground Here. Okay. So, this is not the one I was thinking of, though, but this is another one. The one I'm thinking of, the brick walls are still up, most of them. Dead turtle. He got in, he couldn't get out. Yeah, he's much less than ruined. There's the other part of the building over here. Yeah, it's kind of more like what I was looking for. Whoa! Right <laughs> <laughs> Alright, multiple almost falls in this video. That's got to go in the thumbnail or something. Oh. Multiple clutch claws. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess this is the one I was looking for. A wabbit twack. Oh, there's your uh, fire hydrant. There's my fire hydrant. It's a really tall fire hydrant. Yeah, this is this is more what I was looking for, actually. Ha ha, Kathy, I found them. I just needed help. <laughs> Miss Miss Rustic Ventures. <laughs> This is pretty cool. Yeah, we used to go and come along here when we were little kids and take nets and scoop frogs and turtles out of here. <laughs> see if I can get in here. Yeah, I don't see any telephone pole. Yeah, only trees now. Oh, well. Yeah, I could have taken that way. I think this is the neatest part. They got these old underground. Oh yeah, the stream comes through there, or the creek, or not the creek, creek's down that way. Yeah, the creek's down that way. But it's being fed by the creek, no doubt. Oh man, the sweat. I gotta show you guys this. <laughs> Look at that, even the camera is foggy. <laughs> it's hot, 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 hot. Steamy. All right. Nice size spider web there with the leaf in it. I'm not going over there anyway because I'm going to check out what's in here. There's a few of those holes in here. Oh, yeah. There's a 
little spider in front of me with a big web. Got more holes and stuff and big spider web there. Another one here. Make sure I go around it. like a little room here or something maybe it was a bathroom who knows some swamp back there we succeeded we sure did all it took was calling you to get you here <laughs> what's left of a circuit box i guess yeah, he's been like this since the 1970s and i don't know Right in the back there, see how it's like swampy like that? Yeah, I was looking out from the back there, door. There used to be a, a beaver in there at one time. One of the kids. I saw beaver houses all along the Pequesting. Oh, yeah. Uh, all over the place. They, they used to be down at Dinosaur Lake, too. Okay. And uh, now, well, there is no lake anymore. <laughs> oh, God, that stinks. Yeah. There's got to be a way to block that hole off. Well, it'll just happen again, though, as the land gets thinner and thinner. Did we come in this way or go around that yeah, way? Yeah, we got to go oh, that way. this way. Okay. A little turned around here, you know. Never been back here. <laughs> this is my old playground when I was a kid. Wow. Mine was the woods. Oops. Mine was the woods um, behind Woodhaven Mall. Funny thing, this used to be all underwater. This part. Wow. But I'm guessing that little part in the middle there, they used to walk through the, through here, and this was probably all water down here. Yeah. All part of the water treatment. I don't know if I'd be wanting to drink water, water even if it was filtered from the Pequesting. I don't know. But then again, we drink water from the Delaware, so. Oh, it's down here. I see. The squishy trail. See stories here? There you go. Yeah, that one really hooked me in the arm. <laughs> I stepped up right into it. Oh, squishy. Nature preserved her and hit her well. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, and there's more. There's wall back here yeah, too. I was just looking at that. There's more wall in the far back there, but I'm not going back there. Probably nothing to see. I know it goes back to like right about 15 feet up that way. And it just ends just like that, like a big square. Huh. I don't know if that was a foundation for a house, maybe. This, I don't know, that could have been like for a light or something, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Or maybe it was a manhole and they just covered it up. Right. That, that, you know, that actually that makes more sense. That was definitely a manhole. Yeah. They just covered it up with concrete. So I want to take the same way down so I don't have any surprises. <laughs> like that. <laughs> we almost caught a fall from Chris. <laughs> I got it. Well, that's normal for Malin. Well, it's normal for me too. I just haven't caught it yet on <laughs> on any of the videos. I fell twice making videos. Here we go. Walk across the creek. Very shallow here, thankfully. I'm just continuing the filming just in case. Sorry, little fishies. <laughs> All right. Don't worry, folks, I'm trying to get you to fall. <laughs> Someday. Not today. Famous last words. You haven't crossed the creek yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, this part's easier. The other part is a little tougher.
to. <laughs> you fall in? Almost. Oh yeah, that moves, huh? Well, that one was definitely not strapped in. <laughs> there's, there's the thing that broke on me that I was leaning on. And like a fool, I'm leaning on it again. Got it. Yeah, I guess what I found back here the one time must have been part of that. Yeah. Uh, it was probably more of the uh, the pools or whatever they were, were called. These <sighs> <laughs> one my sunglasses bad today. Yeah, they tried to take mine. And I saw this this here too. I'd mentioned the one time I was back here. This last time. Ooh, that close. That yep. close, bud. And I was saying that too. I was saying, man, people that know where it is are probably laughing at me. Oh, I was. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, you're right there. Just under your nose. <sighs> so where we are now, we're way in the back, back part. Uh, we just came back here to go check out this uh, this old house that was there from what you said, the 1700s or the 1800s? 1800s. 1700s. And when he was explaining it to me, I thought it was going to be like an old abandoned house in the middle of the woods but it's not it's a really big house almost like a mansion and uh it's somebody's there now so it's very well taken care of so i didn't want to get it on film and have them be upset with me not film but on video you know what i mean it's not film anymore but these are the uh the back 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 trails of uh, benjamin rush like if you keep going back and it used to be a road as you can see but not anymore. So this this may have all been part of the uh, Byberry Ben Salem Turnpike, or the Ben Salem Byberry Turnpike, however it was, whatever the order was. And I'm more out of breath right now. You might hear that, but I am sweating like crazy. I finally saw Chris sweating in front of me. The whole time we're going through the woods, he wasn't sweating. I'm like, man. So uh, we're just making our way back. And, uh, I don't know, I'll eventually do my wrap-up. But I figured you might want to see and appreciate how overgrown this is back here. It's like a different world. Welcome to the jungles of Philadelphia. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now we came back from those trails. Where we were was, like, way back down that road down there. Um, as far as, like, when, when the last clip, we'll say. Um, but yeah, now we're just heading back to the car. So, want to thank everybody for watching the video. Thank you, Chris. No problem for being my guide, being my first little co explorer on This Is Tom's World. And uh, yeah, just, just remember if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. That way, you'll be notified as soon as I upload new videos. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and uh, watch my other videos give them thumbs up too because they're all really cool i think or at least a lot of people think that still on the path to 1,000 subscribers getting closer and closer inching my way up so uh yeah make sure you you share out my channel with anybody you think might like some exploring and some history videos and i'm getting out of here so i will see you all in the next one make sure you stay safe stay healthy and take care